this clip, I will take you step by step through how I created this really simple mono print using black oil pastel. And I will take you through all of the equipment that you need, step by step through how I created the image, including all of the layers that I created in watercolour to create this really simple design. So let's get into the tutorial. The first thing we need to talk about is equipment. So you will need cartridge paper, at least 220 GSM, a photocopy of your image. It doesn't have to be the image that we're working on. It could be any image that you like. You will need watercolors, paint brushes, a biro pen or sharp pencil, a black oil pastel and washi tape or masking tape. So the first thing you need to do is with your black oil pastel, cover all of the areas that you would like to use in your print design. I will not be covering the sky because I know that I'm not going to be needing to use the oil pastel in the sky. There is no detail in the sky, so I'm not going to need to cover that area. And then you get your pen or a sharp pencil and go over all of the details that you know you want to highlight in dark. So I'm going to go around all of the details on the mountain. There aren't that many details on this picture. It's mainly going to be about using the paint. I then get a putty rubber and take any areas that I want to take out. There's some slight smudging of the oil pastel. So if you just take a putty rubber, that will take that away. And then I'm going to start the treatment with the watercolour. So I've added a layer of clean water to the areas I want to start using wet on wet technique. And then I'm going to add a layer of cerulean blue. And then I'm going to add a layer of water to the mountain area. And then I'm going to add a layer of Prussian blue to that area also. On the right hand side, you will see a strip of colours. These are all of the colours that I have used to paint this image today. So you will only need these colours if you want to do a copy of this mountain image. You can also find links to the reference image used in today's tutorial in the descriptions below. So now I'm drying my image ready to put, be put in a heavy sketchbook with books on top so that I can flatten the image ready to add the next layer. I will spray the image on the back with a fine mist of water leave it to dry for an hour or so and then take it out ready to add the next layer. This is especially the case when using cartridge paper because otherwise the paper will become warped. So I added a second layer of Prussian blue to the mountain and I'm now adding the detailing with the leaves with sap green, picking out the lighter colours and then I'll gradually start picking out details with the darker tones. Here I have a mixture of darker and lighter tones. The really dark tones are a mixture of Payne's grey with sap green and the really lighter tones are a mixture of cerulean yellow hue with sap green. And then I've built up a variety of darker tones because this tree is in the foreground. We need to see a bit more variety in the tones.
So I'm now moving on to the red leaves, which I think are maple leaves. And I'm starting to pick out the really bright tones with cadmium red hue. I will then move on to add a mixture of Van Dyke brown and alizarin in crimson for the mid tones. And I will then add alizarin in crimson for the mid tones and another mid tone. Where there is a lot of detail, I will add detail with a watercolour pencil. I'll be using Caran d'Ache, Alizarin and Crimson and Derwent Crimson Lake. And I will also add a black polychromos pencil and I'll be using Faber-Castell polychromos. For a final finishing touch, I'm adding some highlights with a white Prismacolor pencil. Now, the reason I use this particular brand is it's very opaque and it will sit on top of dark colours. If you enjoyed this clip, then make sure you check out more clips like this in the watercolour playlist. Don't forget to look in the description below for details of products used in today's clip. And if you have any ideas for content or questions, then leave a comment below. Finally, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future content.